Well, good morning. It's Monday morning, uh, April the 3rd, and uh, we are blessed to be able to uh, come to you uh, from Faith Impact Church and trust that you had a good weekend this past weekend. This is, uh, this is uh, one of my favorite weeks. Uh, it leads up to Easter weekend. We talked about Palm Sunday last week, and then um, we are talking about uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So a title of our devotion today is Reasons We Can Believe in the Resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we're going to divide this up into two parts because there is so much to cover. The 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 17 says, If Christ had not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Really and truly the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the, the foundation of all Christianity because of the resurrection of Christ. Um, we, we love the cross, but um, many people were, were leaders, said they were messiahs, came up, died, and they're still in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus Christ is the one who has been resurrected. And the Bible tells us that, that that is the cornerstone of our Christian faith. If Jesus had not risen from the dead, our faith would be in vain. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse uh, 4 says, Jesus Christ was buried. He was raised on the third day according uh, to the scriptures. And that's that's another reason we know it's true, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Because when the scripture, he fulfills the scriptures. And yes. he fulfilled it to the, to the letter, didn't he? Absolutely. Everything exactly as the scripture said it would happen. Over the years, people have tried to disprove. And we're going to go through some of those things of why the resurrection is real. But we're going to, uh, skeptics have tried to prove that actually Jesus did not, uh, was not raised from the dead. The disciples stole his body, uh, you know, or that he just fainted on the cross. And um, I heard one guy said, a pastor was teaching uh, that really Jesus had not died on the cross. And uh, and uh, so this, uh, this gentleman, he did not believe that. And so he went and asked another guy, and he, and he says, well, he says, uh, ask your pastor to go get uh, whipped 39 times with cat and nine tails and uh, then be um, uh, uh, hung. hung on a cross for six hours uh, by three inch nails and to be have a sword pierced in his side and then come back and tell me how he's doing, you know. And yes. so uh, we know the I don't see the how cross. there was a drop of blood left in Jesus after actually, really. No, no because of the beating that he took and then the crown of thorns on his yeah, head. So right. I want to give you some proofs today, and they're going to be scriptures, all right? The first proof is the resurrection was foretold by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Again, everything that we believe has to be based on not our opinion, but upon the word of God. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 21, Jesus, this is one of those times Jesus took his disciples apart toward the end of his ministry. And he said, from that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day raised uh, from life. Raised to life. No, to life. The other day, um, uh, I had on Palm Sunday, I had done a, or not Palm Sunday, but the week before Palm Sunday, I had done a, an illustration, an illustrated sermon right. uh, of Jesus coming from Galilee, coming through Jericho uh, on this way with all of the revelers and people going, because this is Passover time. Thousands of people came there, you know, and uh, so Jesus tells them this. Second proof, the resurrection is the only reason for the explanation of the empty tomb. Yes. Mark chapter 15, verse 46. Joseph brought some linen cloth, took down the body, which was dead, wrapped it in the linen, and placed it in the tomb cut out of rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. And besides that, then there were uh, the high priest had guards stationed That's at the right. tomb as well. So there really, there's no way that the disciples could have stolen the body of Jesus Christ. The third proof is this. The resurrection is the only reasonable, and there's a key word, reasonable explanation for the appearance of Jesus to his disciples. 1 Corinthians 15, 4 through 8. He was buried, raised on the third day according to the scriptures, 
and appeared to Peter and then the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brethren at the same time, most of whom are still living at the writing of Acts, though some have fallen asleep. Then he also appeared to me, this is Paul speaking, also as one abnormally born out of season, all right? And so so literally what Jesus, what Paul, uh, Paul's saying is, Jesus was uh, appeared to me, he's appeared to all these other people and appeared to me. And see, we, we have to have, we, if we believe in the resurrection, we have to have a foundation of the word of God. If we don't, then it's just our opinion. And the resurrection is not just our opinion. Amen. That's right. That's the reason we have Easter. That's the There's, reason we I mean, have. We wouldn't celebrate it otherwise. Easter or resurrection day or what, whatever you call that, that's the reason that we have that. So praise God. We wanted to just uh, put the word in you of why we believe in Easter. See you tomorrow. God bless.